It was recently announced that NBA vet and three-time All-Star Darren Williams was starting a new career in the boxing industry. On December 18th, 2021, Williams will fight on an undercard before the big Jake Paul Tommy Fury clash in Tampa, Florida. Williams' opponent for the match has yet to be decided, but news that the former Jazz and Nets guard was now a boxer turned many heads. People were surprised, especially because it seemed like just a few years ago Williams was one of the top names in the game and was leading his squads. So how did things change so rapidly? What made Williams decide to switch gears and become a boxer after seasons of being one of the most promising young guards in the league? The truth is that even if Williams himself has admitted that his NBA career kind of floundered and faded before its time, although he did start as someone comparable to Chris Paul or Kyrie Irving. His career hit many roadblocks and by the age of 33, he hung up his jersey and retired. Today he should be enjoying the twilight of an accomplished NBA career. In fact, he should have a championship ring or two. But instead, he is becoming a boxer and putting basketball behind him for good. So what happened? What led to this point? Williams says that multiple injuries and coach changes led to him losing my love for the game. Although things were promising at the start, he was shuffled around the league, had to change up his gaming style and admits that he had a hard time finding a rhythm. In the end, Williams has said that things really fell apart in the last few years of his career. For me, looking back, I played for four coaches in three and a half years, Williams told the Knuckleheads podcast. As a point guard, you're talking about a point guard who is coming from a system that's run perfectly, that's coached perfectly. And then now I'm learning a new offense with new players every single year, and there was just no consistency. But the coaching and playing changes were not the only things that did him in. Williams also noted that a slew of injuries he began to face after being traded to the Brooklyn Nets put the final nails in his coffin. I started losing confidence, Williams said, and so it started eating at me. I started to lose my love for the game when I was there because it was just like everything was going wrong. It was quite a fall from grace for Williams and very surprising too. Very few people imagine that Darren Williams would only last in the league for a few years. Nothing in his past suggested that his time on the court would be cut short. Back in the day, Darren Williams was a basketball whiz when he was playing for the University of Illinois. It was very apparent that he was headed for great things and was well on his way to a juicy NBA contract. While playing for Illinois, he helped his team reach the NCAA championship game in 2005. Even though they ended up losing to North Carolina, they achieved a perfect season before that. For his efforts, Williams was named second team All-American and was rewarded with the title of University of Illinois Athlete of the Year. He was also a finalist for the Wooden Award, the highest prize for a college basketball player. By his junior year, Darren Williams was ready for the NBA, and the NBA was ready for him. Watching Williams during his first years in the league, you would never think his career would be cut so short. He was the number three pick of the 2005 NBA draft and was selected by the Utah Jazz. His point guard abilities were coveted by the Jazz and coach Jerry Sloan, and they saw young Williams as the future of the franchise. Sure enough, he immediately started doing work. He averaged 10.7 points and 4.5 assists in 80 games played. He was then named as NBA All-Rookie First Team and instantly became one of the biggest point guards in the entire league. Williams was one of the hottest properties in the NBA. He was compared to other star point guards such as Chris Paul. Because of his strong output on the Jazz, he was selected as one of the Americans to represent Team USA at the 2008 and 2012 Olympics, where he played amongst some of the greatest to ever do it and won two gold medals. Williams had a sort of fearlessness that is hard to come by in the NBA. He was a quick point guard and was rarely the biggest guy on the court, but he would never back away from any challenge and pushed back against others as if he was 10 feet tall. Williams was easily one of the most physical point guards in the league at the time. Darren Williams was also known as a reliable clutch player and could make some impressive dagger shots when his team needed it most. He showcased all of the best features that a point guard should have and had very few downsides. During his time with the Jazz, Williams was a bona fide star and helped the team make four trips to the playoffs. But things didn't stay so rosy in Utah. By the 2010-2011 season, tensions were rising between Williams and coach Jerry Sloan, although they tried to put on a happy face for the media. In February of 2011, Sloan abruptly resigned but said that it had nothing to do with Williams. I forced myself out, he said. However, rumors persisted that a fractured relationship between the coach and Williams caused his resignation. Just a few days later, the basketball world was rocked when Williams was traded to the then New Jersey Nets for Devin Harris, Derek Favors, and the two first-round picks. The Nets saw this as a huge win for them as they were getting ready to transfer to Brooklyn and essentially become a brand new team. Williams was seen as the linchpin that could hold that brand new team together. Sure enough, Williams gave the Nets some much needed energy and competitiveness. With him putting up an average of 12.8 assists a game, the team was one of the highest scoring teams post All-Star break. But injuries started to bother Darren Williams. 
The first one was a wrist injury that stuck around for longer than normal and nagged him throughout the rest of the season. In April of 2011, Williams had a wrist surgery to correct it, which ended his season. Now, Williams resigned with the Nets in 2012 for five years and $98 million. He remained one of the best guards in the game and was making all of Brooklyn proud. Yet, once again, personnel and physical problems reared their ugly heads. Nets coach Avery Johnson was fired in December of 2012, with many rumors saying that Williams was the cause of that firing just like he was presumably the cause of Jerry Sloan's firing too. Right after that, Williams announced that he was going to be sitting out the final two games before the All-Star break because he was going to undergo treatment for his injured ankles. Many started to speculate that Darren Williams was hard to work with and far too hard on his body too. He continued to do excellent work for the Nets, even recording 31 straight games with at least one steal, a Nets record. His luck changed in December of 2014 when he limped off the court due to a strained right calf. This led to an 11-game absence and a bit of an inconsistent play when he did return. When that season ended, the Nets decided they needed to change things up, and they waived Darren Williams, once the centerpiece of the entire team. In the summer of 2015, Williams signed with the Dallas Mavericks, and for a while he was playing like the star point guard he was and was seemingly getting along with his coach and other players. But in 2017, he suffered a sprained right toe and started missing games left and right. Just a few months later, the Mavs decided to waive Williams. Williams continued to push on and signed with the Cavaliers, but his output was extremely impacted by the series of injuries that weakened him. He only played 20 games with Cleveland and put up just 7.5 points, 1.9 rebounds, and 3.6 assists. And although the Cavs made it to the finals that year, Williams performed terribly and then retired, unofficially retired, in 2017. Injuries and some coaching problems had taken their toll on Williams, but he was still a young man when he hung it up. For the next few years, he spent time with his family and on the golf course. He also devoted his attention to throwing epic Halloween parties, according to former teammate Brooke Lopez. But his itch to compete remained, which is what led him to start his own boxing journey. Now, will he find success in the ring and start a second career? Or will he always be known as the former NBA star who never achieved just as much as people had expected? Will you watch Darren Williams box in a few weeks? Was he really as great an NBA player as some say? Give us your opinion of Williams in the comments below and like and subscribe to our channel so you get even more NBA news and opinions the minute they drop.